If you're an old so and you know it, clap your hands. If you're an old so and you know it, clap your hands. If you're an old so and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're an old so and you know it, clap your hands. Yes. <laughs> Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are here in the wonderful art gallery. I'm sending you tons of great energy. Take that, take that, take that. We're just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. And it feels so good to be alive, baby. Now, this video is all about old souls are you an old soul things only old souls will understand now growing up deep divers i knew i was an old soul i saw things differently i felt things differently and that was so amazing because i'm like oh i don't have to be like them i can just be myself and still win Oh, sign me up. I I'm up for that, right? And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So wonderful deep divers, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. How being an old soul has really helped me to become my greatest version. There are things that only old souls will understand. And it starts with this, growing up, I was ahead of my time. And this is what happens to a lot of old souls. What is an old soul? An old soul is a being who remembers previous incarnations on planet Earth. They're like, oh, I'm back here on planet Earth with you again? Yes. Old souls remember who they are. Old souls remember their true power. Old souls realize we are energy constantly recycling around the universe. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. That's right. Many old souls are ahead of their time. Time is an illusion. Yes, it is, right? <laughs> they are ahead of their time in this 3D reality. And for me, I remember when I was like 14 in school, I felt like way older than my peers. Like everyone was just talking about football and sports. And I'm like, but what about the fifth dimension though? What about the Milky Way galaxy though? Be quiet, Ralph, right? Never tell a Pisces to be quiet, <laughs> right? Many old souls, and this could be you deep divers, feel very old even though they are very young you feel way older than you actually are you're 19 going on 501 congratulations you're an old soul now for me the benefits of being an old soul how this has really changed my life how it's really shaped me to be who I am today is because I realize I took off from where I left off. The great philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, whatever we do now echoes on into eternity. And old souls, because they have been coming back so many times to planet Earth and they remember it, they're like, oh, I get it now. While all of your friends are getting pissed, drinking alcohol, you're like, I can't do that right now because you are aware of the consequences. Like you can't screw up where all of your friends can screw up. They can mess up. They can get away with it. You're like, I can't do that because old souls realize you got to be responsible, but you can still have fun. It's just that you can't get away with ignorant acts 
like the rest of your friends can because you know better. And once you know better, deep divers, you got to do better. Things only old souls will understand. I got a feeling a lot of deep divers are old souls, right? Now, what happened to me, deep divers, is that growing up, I'm like, I'm tired of conforming. Even school was getting boring for me because anything that is all about fitting in, that's not what I'm about, right? And that's what a lot of old souls are going through right now. This could be you right now, right? You got pressure from your family. Hey, just get a regular job. Do this, do that. And you're like, no, I just want to be free. Like old souls and only old souls will realize this, that we came here to be free. Like truly came here to be free. We came here to be happy. And that is the gift of being an old soul. You see, that's the advantage of being an old soul. Now, we are all the same in the universe, but you've got new souls and you have old souls. Old souls remember who they are. New souls, their memory has been deleted, right? Amnesia. So growing up, I'm like, I don't want to conform. Normality bored me. And that's what a lot of old souls are going through right now. Like a normal life is boring. But get away from me right now, right? <laughs> Tired of following rules. You see, if everybody is going this way, I'm going that way. I'm such an old soul. I found out that most people write with their right hand. So I'm, so, I'm like, deep divers, I'm like, okay, I'm going to write with my left hand, right? And that's why I'm left-handed, okay? So is Eminem and so is Justin Bieber. I just, I had to just throw that fun fact in there for you. Deep divers, things only old souls will understand. Seven day vegan challenge. You can feel the energy in the food you are eating. And because old souls have such a deep connection with the food that is coming into their mouth, many old souls show, they show a lot of compassion towards animals. And as a young child, not only did I love the cat down the road, but I actually visited a farm and I had such a connection with cows and pigs. I'm like, they want to live too, right? So a lot of old souls can feel the energy in the foods they are eating. And that's why many old souls choose to go plant-based. They choose to become vegans raw food is why because they realize all life is sacred and who are they to take another life form they can't create mm. what slow motion this side mm. many old souls also realize this that we aren't only eating through our mouth we are eating through all of our senses when you watch something that is not serving you you are also consuming that information i.e food if you are listening to sound frequencies which aren't, if you are listening to sound frequencies which aren't serving you, you are also absorbing that information. So many old souls are like, okay, once I have my fresh fruit and veg, now I've got to start eating better elsewhere. That means I've got to take responsibility for what I'm seeing every single day. It has to be harmonious. I've got to take responsibility for what I'm listening to because we are eating through all of our senses. Deep divers, things only old souls <laughs> will understand. Now, I remember being in the car, deep divers, and I told my mom, I'm like, mom, because we had just seen a film, it's just a movie, because she was like crying, my sister was crying, like still so emotionally hung up from the film. And I'm like, yeah, it's just a movie. And I was like, probably nine years old, and my mom was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, it's just a movie, right? <laughs> and that's what a lot of old souls are going through. We're like, hey, it's just a movie. If you go to a film, you see a film, you're like, it's just a movie. There is films and then there is reality. And many old souls can tell the difference. Like we realize that Hollywood, which is Hollywood, casts spells. It's not all bad, but we are aware of the magician's trick, right? So many old souls are aware of subliminal 
messages in music in films and all of that stuff therefore their third eye is opened at a very young age they can see beyond the normal they can see beyond the ordinary into the extraordinary deep divers things only old souls will understand now i confess growing up my best friend was my mom also I had two best friends, by the way, right? <laughs> My uncle. So, old souls, it's very common for an old soul to be best friends with their mom or their dad or their auntie or their uncle. Someone who is older than them, right? Because most of the time we're best friends with people the same age as us. But with old souls, many times they are best friends with someone who is twice their age because once again old souls are older than they appear to be right because they've remembered so many times being here they have a connection to their past lives on planet earth therefore age is just an illusion so it's not uncommon to find an old soul with their mother as their best friend, right? Or their grandpa as their best friend. It happens to old souls. Things only old souls will understand. A different view on marriage. And many old souls who are deep divers, right? Always talk to me, they're like, Ralph, my mom just wanted me to get a fairy tale wedding and she even bought me a dress and I actually gave it to the cat down the road. Oh, you gave it to the cat down the road? Did it wear it? <laughs> right? A different view on marriage. Many old souls aren't into fish love. What is fish love, deep divers? Fish love is all about possession. I must own you like I own a car. That is the Coca-Cola relationship, the 3D love. Many old souls love differently. It's a heart connection instead of an ego connection. It's a you can be free instead of I own you. So many times with fish love, we say, I love fish, but then you eat the fish. So you don't love the fish. You love your own needs. Mm. Stop it, Ralph. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> many old souls, when they say I love fish, they allow the fish to be free. When they say I love, when they say I love you, I love you. I love you right now. Love is freedom. They don't want to own you. They want you to become your greatest version. They want you to breathe in peace. Old souls love differently. They realize that being married to someone is not just getting a document that says, hey, I'm married to someone. No, you can be married to someone without actually getting married to someone by law because it's all about the heart connection. Deep divers, you enjoying yourself? I am. Things only old souls will understand. No one ever really dies. That's what nerd stands for. And many old souls realize that we are energy in human form. And therefore, energy can never be destroyed. It can only be transferred. Many old souls, myself included, realize that death is just an illusion. No one ever really dies. No one was ever really born. We always were. The universe always was because time is a man-made construct. Now, deep divers, follow me through this train of thought. If you can realize that life is beautiful, right? Death is horrible. But old souls see death in a very different way. In fact, in certain cultures in Africa, when someone dies, they actually celebrate. Why? Because the soul is going back to universal consciousness. So if you can realize many old souls see death in a very different way. Yes, no one wants to die. Most people don't anyway. But old souls don't see death as the end. In fact, they see death as a new beginning. Things only old souls understand. Oh yes, deep divers. <laughs> now, growing up as an old soul, 
I started to realize this, that my purpose is in inspiring you, 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 and you. Many old souls know exactly what it is they're here to do on the planet. They ain't got time to waste. They are on a mission and they are fulfilling their dream because old souls know their talents, they know their gifts, they know what it is they came here to do on the planet. They're never unsure about what it is because they know what their heart has been beating for for eons, deep divers, things only old souls understand. It's all a show. It's all a show. Like Shakespeare said, the whole world is a stage and we are all actors. All of this is made up. Money is made up. It's coming from a belief system. And because of this, many old souls, myself included, I'm like, why so serious? We don't have to take everything so seriously, right? We came here to have fun. We came here to enjoy ourselves, but more so, we came here to be true to ourselves. Many old souls realize that as well, there are no accidents or coincidences in this universe. We think we are in control, but we aren't. There's an Arabic word called maktub, which actually means it was written. And in ancient cultures, they always knew that it was written. It was written from the day you are born to the day you will leave here. It has all been written. Therefore, old souls aren't worried about nothing. We ain't worried about nothing. We ain't worried about nothing because the universe has already laid out this path for you. Yes, we do have free will. However, we have a unique design that has already been laid out for us. Deep divers, things only old souls will understand. We live in a flash of light. And in 50 years, most of what we are doing right now will be forgotten. However, what will remain is the love in our hearts, what will rem what I'm getting so emotional right now. What will remain deep divers is the experiences that are authentic to you, is the connections that you make. And therefore, old souls are all about investing in meaningful connections, meaningful interactions, meaningful friendships, because these are the memories that lost. So deep divers, if you're an old soul and you know it, clap your hands. If you're an old soul and you know it, clap your hands. If you're an old soul and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're an old soul and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah. And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Beautiful deep divers would just, woo. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Oh, I won one, Ralph. I won one. Shout out to everybody who's been getting the Feel Alive shirts. Get the Feel So Good To Be Alive shirts. Get the good ass prana shirts right now, deep divers, at ralphsmart.com slash close. If you've got a question, add me on Instagram right now for daily inspiration at Infinite Waters. Get the new book on Amazon, Deep Divers. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart. Deep Divers, you are appreciated. Have a beautiful day. Infinite Waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You, when you're an old soul, you can't stop saying, feel so good to be alive. Baby! <laughs>